I don't know what's happening out here on the open range. Dr. Gabby Meyer, extended veterinarian for Beef Cattle Herd Health and Production at UC Davis. In this video, you will learn how to give a bolus to cattle so that they don't spit it back out. I am using a bolus gun from Pacific Trace Mineral that is available from the California Cattlemen's in a one ounce bolus which is similar in size to a copper bolus. Write the ear tag number with a permanent marker on the bolus if you have to work through a group of cattle and give a lot of boluses. If one of them spits it out, you will know who it was. Also, putting a small amount of mineral oil on the bolus will help it go down easier. Make sure the plunger is pushed all the way back and then insert the bolus. What is important to understand is that you have to go all the way beyond this hump in the tongue of cattle without doing any damage. So you want to be firm without being aggressive. If you're too aggressive with the bolus gun, you can do damage to the tissues, which can lead to abscess formation. By the way, this hump is called the torus linguae. A torus means the bulging of a muscle. Position yourself firmly next to the animal, facing the same way as the cow. By putting your arm around the nose of the animal, you gain more control. Placing your thumb in the corner of the mouth will make the animal more willingly open its mouth. Work the gun all the way to the back. You will feel some resistance, but don't be tempted to give the bolus at this point because it will likely not go down. Once you have the gun positioned all the way in, you can give the bolus. Some coughing is normal, but wait for a few seconds to make sure the bolus is not coming back out. If you want to purchase the bolus gun I was using, you can get it at www.calcattleman.org. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please check out other resources on beef cattle, such as our webpage and Facebook page. Thanks, and good luck with your next round of boluses. Out here on the open range.